Hello everyone, it's Ed with Dual Brain MTG here. We're back with some MTG morning coffee. Today, we're gonna be discussing how I, uh, how I got my stuff and what I consider to be, I guess like, kind of like uh, snowball finance. Let's talk about it. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Maybe we could build a fact, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that? Snowball finance. Let's talk about what I mean there. It's how I grew my collection, okay? So what I did was I, you know, I'd get a graded card. I'd make sure that the price that I sold it for, I'd be able to buy kind of um, usually like two near mint raw copies. And, you know, I'd make sure that they're gradable. I'd do my research. I'd do my due diligence and also buying and if it's not near me and I'd return it I'd get those two cards graded you know and uh, rinse wash repeat the thing about it is though like you got to make sure of a couple of things one you got to make sure if you sell the card you know what you're buying afterwards as a re reinvestment right and two you got to make sure your reinvestment is near mint or mint and that's becoming more and more difficult over time. Here's an example. So I sold, I don't even want to talk about this card, okay? I sold a 9.5 Yavimaya hollow foil. I didn't make that much. I actually let somebody who had bought another card from me, a big purchase, I let him argue me down to a price that I definitely regret. And yeah, that's another lesson. Don't let anybody be like, hey, I bought this, so you should give me this for a deal. No, no, forget that. It's just, okay, yeah. So when I sold that, I had to get another one because it's for my Urza's Destiny foil set. I went through like 10 or 12 copies on TCG Player and whoa. The things that people were calling near mint, it was ridiculous. So it took a lot of hunting and I had to pay premiums above like the near mint price in order to get a near mint copy. So that is a time that I screwed up. I didn't make sure that I had enough to buy two copies. I didn't make sure that there were near mint copies out there. I didn't make sure that I had targets as soon as I sold the card. And that's where you screw up, okay? I call it snowball finance because it's like, you know, a snowball rolling downhill, builds in size over time, right? So what you wanna make do, make sure you do, is always make sure you're increasing your overall amount. Like, you know, you sell, I sold Gaia's Cradle over and over again, right? Probably five different graded Gaia's Cradles, then buy more, grade it, and sell it again. It's a great card to do that with, but like, I always made sure I ended up with a 9.5 cradle. The last time I actually, I didn't buy two cradles. I, I bought stuff like um, some packs of, you know, the dark and stuff that was disappearing. Cause I sold it right during, um, was it right before? Eh, sometime when COVID hit and yeah, that whole thing. Anyway guys, uh, yeah, this is kind of how I did my whole collection. All this stuff is just, that's a whole nother story, okay? Because that's, and this, this is like for fun. It's not really stuff that I invested in. You know, I just, I like it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a whole nother issue, okay? We're talking about investable stuff and growing your collection value-wise. All right. I hope you liked it today, man. It's just, I've just been thinking about it. It's just how I do. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, it's Ed with Dual Brain MTG, Dual Brain MTG. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, all the fun things. Uh, check out my Patreon, um, TCG Player link, affiliate link. If you're buying any cards today, please use it. It is free and it helps a lot. We got this, my pin here, my dual brain MTG logo, which is the colors from Underground C. Um, you can buy these, send me an email. Uh, otherwise, I will catch you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, peace.